It is a hot ass day. It is very hot and I thought I'd just grab the Sideshow 1-1 scale endoskull, take it out into the back garden and just see uh, if anything comes to mind. If I start filming it maybe I can make some kind of little interesting video. This is one of my, probably my second most prized uh, possession as far as the collection stuff goes. Um, I saw this in Forbidden Planet in London about eight years ago for £500, uh, way before I ever started collecting anything really. Well, I was always collecting stuff, but not the 1-6 scale and figures, it was more cards and comics and that kind of thing. But then I saw this and uh, it was £500 as I say, and I thought, no way I'm ever going to get that. I really want it, but there's no way I'll ever be able to afford it. But I found um, a website or a store in America called Secret Compass and uh, the guy there, fixed name was Simon um, he was really cool and they were selling it for about 360 at the time uh, UK pounds so um, and they let you pay off in instalments so I was able to get it, it took a while but that's how you gotta do it sometimes and this is um, like the thing that kind of makes me feel better about the uh, Hot Toys 1 4 scale endoskeleton which I would love to have, that thing's incredible uh, but there's no way I can afford that so what I do is I look at this and I just say shut up, <laughs> you've got this there's nothing to, what the hell is going on? up in the trees there's something in the trees well, that's weird, I swear I heard something Hmm. Ah! <laughs> it was a predator. The NECA 1 4 scale unmasked uh, open mouth. Um, now, this was uh, a little trade I did with my buddy Nick, who uh, lets me borrow his figures from time to time and we do videos together. Um, I swapped him, well, he bought the Predator 2 original off me, Hot Toys, and he gave me this and uh, some cash as well, so very happy with the, um, the NECA Predator. I do have the masked version as well, I've had that for a while and I love that. And I always kind of wanted another version as well with the face showing, so. Uh, but I never got round to it and I was just going to leave it, but it worked out in the end. I hope you guys are getting this all. The sun's not creating too much of a... Yeah, it looks good. Um, I have covered him in sort of clear varnish to give him a bit more of a wet look, but it's not really showing up here. But he is very cool. I do like him. He is big, obviously, because he's one fourth scale, but he he definitely deserves a place. And uh, there's the Hot Toys original Predator beside it. So you kind of get an idea. Yeah, that's the scale going on. Very nice. Come at me, bro! And this one, he's, uh, well, I haven't even posted him, I just brought him downstairs and he was plonked down here on the um, garden table thing. But yeah, he's cute. Uh, that's it, what more can I say? I'll show you. Good posability with this guy, the head goes up really high. Now he's roaring. Or he can look right down. No, I mean right down, which is cool. Uh, it's hard, sort of, well, sort of hard plastic, soft plastic. The dreads, you can move them about, but they do tend to just sort of go where they want to go. They just naturally sort of go back. Oh, and I did remove his shoulder cannon uh, and all that stuff that was here. His plasma cast or whatever you call it. Got rid of that because in this scene of the film, obviously, he's taking it off. So it's nice because the masked version still has, obviously, his shoulder mounted cannon on there. And this one, because it's from the face off of Arnie, I'm taking it off. So, very nice. Let's grab a few more little shots of them together. The um, Necker Predator, they really did a good job with the kind of, uh, I don't want to call them love handles, but, you know, he's got that, oops. Yeah. He's got that, um, not a belly, but however you want to say it, I mean, yeah, I think Necker did a really good job of getting the proportions uh, of this guy just right. And the Hot Toys one, 
not so much. His midsection, his uh, legs, his arms, all a bit all over the place really, especially when I have it next to this now. Having it next to the uh, one fourth scale Necker Predator really sort of puts things in perspective as far as proportions go. Um, so yeah, that's the two of them beside each other. Still got lots of love for my Hot Toys Pred, but the uh, Necker Predator proportions really kind of show this one up. And as far as the joints and stuff, they're pretty ugly. Uh, what can you do? I mean, look. That bit's really thin. <laughs> and on here at least they've managed to keep the um, thickness of the arm. Get a so profile. Yeah. Side profile of the uh, necker head. Not looking too good. Something about that looks a little bit too... I don't know, like it's very compact. Maybe it should come down, you know what I mean? It's like from the side there, I've only just seen that. But from the front, forget about it. It's awesome, but from the side, yeah. But yeah, from the front, I can't fucking mess with that. That is just screen accuracy. Actually, let's see. Is it any different? It looks pretty different. Cannons in the way. There you go. Yeah. Definitely something going on. But anyway, I'm rambling. Yeah, Necker definitely take it. I think uh, Necker and Sideshow, as far as like Sideshow statues and stuff, but I'd still go for the Necker uh, just because of the price. If I only wanted to have one original Predator representation, I would probably have to say the Necker. It's just a matter of which one you want, the mask on, the mask off with the closed mandibles, which I really like, and uh, this one here, the awesome sort of end finale, um, full on, balls out tilt thing. Well, I'm still filming because I had a little thought that maybe some of you guys might want to see what the masked version looks like with the unmasked one, so uh, here it is, not that it hasn't been done before, you got Marlo and a whole bunch of other guys who have shown these guys together. Um, but yeah, I figured one of you two guys watching this now might be thinking it'd be cool to see them together. So I'll chuck them in. Uh, this one's on a little wooden base glued down by the feet just to keep him a bit more steady. For some reason the unmasked one stands up a little bit better than this one does on his own. Not that he falls over, but uh, made me a little bit more nervous for some reason, so he had to go on a base. So yeah. Very nice, and then over to the right, we've got the NECA 1.4 scale HR Giger Original Alien. Now this is a beast, and it was cheap as hell. I got this for £34 retail, uh, like £34.99 in uh, one of the model shops in London. I think it was the cinema store I ended up getting this in, up in Leicester Square. Uh, but this is incredible, one of my favourite figures, just accurate. You know, pretty damn accurate. I mean, I think the uh, big chap by Hot Toys was really good, but the head and the mouth was kind of all wrong. But the Necker one, and the way they've got kind of the skull inside the sort of dome, it looks kind of misty white, but you can see in there. Really, 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 really cool. And the articulated sort of mouth, the jaw comes out, the translucent sort of tendons and whatever beside his mouth there. Just insane detail. Now this I've gone to work on. I've done all kinds of uh, adding types of glue to try and make it look like he's drooling, all kinds of spit and none of that stuff was there. Um, I varnished him like four times, keep him looking all wet and shiny. I uh, did some custom work on his little base here but that's all faded and dusty now, I've got to redo this. That's just done with super sculpty clay and black paint. Um, really poseable, really awesome, major presence in the room. It just looks evil. Look at that thing. So, that's some Necker action for you right there. Give you a little turn. Just awesome. Can't mess with this. For the money as well, like I said, £35 total. 
That's like, uh, I don't know, what, 70 bucks? Something like that? I don't know. But value for money? Yes. I mean, is it a classic creature? Yes, it's probably the most iconic... <sighs> nightmarish thing ever created, and it holds up today, just like this guy. These two. When you watch Predator now, that film holds up. You know, because Kevin Peter Hall in that suit, you could see his eyes. I know he's wearing contact lenses, but there's life. There's life in there in the movie. You know, when he takes his, uh, his mask off and looks at Arnie, and he's blinking at him and everything. <laughs> it's just insane. Holds up today, 100%. It's even better than a lot of the stuff that comes out today. As is Alien and Aliens. But yeah, just respect to Stan Winston, H.R. Giga, James Cameron, those legends who make these things possible, man. Just big inspiration all through my life. Really sad that Stan Winston's gone. Had the chance to meet him, uh, or at least be one of the people that met him in Forbidden Planet years back when he was going, but I missed it. Some stuff going on, I uh, missed the chance to meet Stan Winston, but I would have loved to have met him just so I could shake his hand and say thank you. Just literally just thanks. I mean, I'm sure he'd know what I mean. It's just thanks for all the memories and all those incredible moments as a kid watching these films, just being mesmerized, and now as an adult, being able to collect these things and just look at them like this. It's a big thing. So, I hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. I have to dedicate this one to Stan Winston and, uh, H.R. Giger. Okay, I'm really going now, but I did think it would be uh, nice to just quickly show, before I forget again, uh, show the McFarlane uh, Alien Queen, which I have repainted. Uh, she was like a light blue originally, and uh, I wanted it to look more, you know, like that really dark blue, black kind of thing. So I did repaint her, and uh, she is awesome. Uh, what scale is she? I don't know really. She's not very big. Uh, she is pretty big, com you know, compared to other sort of McFarlane. Uh, McFarlane, McFarlane, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. His tail's all bendy. And uh, even this articulates if I do this one handed, but yeah, it does turn from left to right. It's pretty stiff. Yeah. You could actually do some stop motion with this. I haven't done that yet. But yes, the McFarlane. Look at the uh, the crown detail on that. Pretty savage. Um, the water you're seeing is from the fact that I just literally ran it under the shower head because it was dusty. And with this guy, or with this girl, uh, you can just uh, literally run some water over it and uh, clean it up. So. That's why it's all wet. That's why she's all wet. Very nice.